Flying airplanes makes you feel alive. It gives you a sense of freedom, of being liberated from your disability, with nothing to hold you back. I've come to the 10th Aero Expo and we are on our way via Jeremy Dyack to meet Jez Hopkinson. Afternoon, Gacy. How are you doing, mate? Very good, thanks. Hello, good Jez. How are you? Good, bud. You all right? I've got him in my life now, so it's never good. Right, well, my name is Jez Hopkinson. I'm the uh, team lead for the Yakolev's display team. Uh, we're a UK-based team that uh, flies Russian aircraft. We have six aircraft tend to fly a four ship most of the time, uh, but we do go up to six. We travel around the world giving shows. Uh, to date, we've done about 1,500 shows now worldwide. Well, we're very lucky on, on the, the caliber of pilots we have. We have a lot of ex-military and current military pilots. A lot of test pilots that have flown all sorts of uh, uh, fast jets, including Typhoon, Eurofighter, and now we've got two of the guys who are flying Joint Strike Fighter. So we've got some of the most experienced test pilots in the world that really enjoy flying these Russian uh, warbirds. It is indeed my proud privilege to invite our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. I'm delighted to participate in the 10th edition of Aero India. Nidri Modi was, uh, was there, he watched us, got a big round of applause from him. The team normally flies six Russian-designed Yak aircraft that combine the performance of a Spitfire with proven world-class aerobatic maneuverability. But here at Aero India, they perform with four aircraft to entertain you. It's, it's quite nice to see the changes in India since he's been in because they, they feel as though there is a new era, and with us being there, it felt like being part of that new era. So it was absolutely fantastic. What's your plans for the rest of the year in terms of the headline air shows? Where can people come and see you? China for the, uh, the end of this year, and then back to India, hopefully, early 2016, and then China again, 2016, late in the year. We're seen by over half a billion per time we're there, and the same in India, a little bit less, probably 400 million. There was over 1.2 million people, actual people, saw us during our period at Aero India. In China, we have a, uh, uh, we have a police escort wherever we go. But you're like a rock star, because uh, they've never seen anything like it before, and it's so controlled. So when we're there, and we do spend a lot of time going out to, to talk with the, uh, the spectators, that they're, they're just amazed. So it's, it's quite nice that we can give such a spectacle to these people and make their days so much better. This is the new SAT case that we're just getting massively involved in for 2016. You basically put your smartphone inside this case and it becomes a satellite phone. So if you're traveling around the world like we do, um, it acts as a satellite phone which is cheaper on roaming charges than if you're with one of the, the carriers in this country, outside of the country. And it also has um, an emergency system so that you can have a personal locator beacon that can be activated remotely. So if we have an issue and we can't activate it, someone else can activate it from the UK and find out where we are instantly using GPS and they'll find us within 14 feet. There's also one or two other gizmos in it as well, so it's absolutely state of the art, got all your contacts in it, cheap to run, and it's a lot cheaper than an actual satellite phone. So we're very pleased and honored to be part of SatCase.